What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Brie Monet and today's video is going to be from Love Me Hair. So this is their Blonde 613 Glueless 5x5 Closure. It is HD Lace and this is a bob wig. It's 100% virgin human hair. This also is 10 inches, so I'm just going to take my wax stick and wax my hair down in the top of the wig. Then I'm just going to take my hot comb. Now, you know when they say glueless, we need to wear this glueless. There is going to be no glue used. Me personally, I'm really iffy when it comes to blonde wigs and being glueless because sometimes they look good, sometimes they don't. This right here in a side part was definitely giving me auntie like me and mary j blige would be kicking it backstage like she would love me um yeah and then in the back it was like i don't know how i really felt about this it was very very thick in the back in the front it was giving movement she had body yaddy yaddy but you know had to work with what you got to work with this video is going to be very very short because since it is glueless we don't have to do any work so all you gotta do is just cut the lace and then flat iron and then we're good to go so this is the blonde Bob. I'm gonna turn around so you guys can see her. And she is 100% glueless. As you can see, I can run my comb through her. There is no glue whatsoever. And I can also pick her up and just place her down. I do have a few things to say about this wig. For one, I'm not really liking this area. It's convenient to wear glueless, but I like my wigs to look a certain way. Um, This is what the side part is looking like right now. I highly suggest putting makeup in your part, but I was rushing because I have another wig to do. I love this side, but I'm not really this side right here is like yeah i don't know about it me personally i think i would glue this down for a more seamless look also because this part right here looks wiggish like it's literally flat like there's no oomph to it a little iffy with the side part right now i'm not totally in love with it but definitely probably like this more in a middle part it does shed like crazy i will say that um i had literally blonde hair all over the place it's hard to get to the end normally their hair is like silky smooth but the end for whatever reason was a little harder to get through the ends are thick like they're not silky smooth or anything like that i flat ironed this hair you can see like in the back it's definitely still like it's it's super thick in the front she does move though as you can see doing these ghoulless wigs have absolutely changed my life as a content creator as well because literally i can put this one on and then go on to the next one if i need to it saves so much more time for me i absolutely love it did a very good job on the cut because as you can see it is precise i didn't have to cut anything it's actually a little bit more tighter on my head because this part i'm gonna show you guys this part um i was trying to pull to fit my head and i had to sew it back together um this part right here i had to sew it back together because it literally like it literally separated because of how tight it was if you have a bigger head this wig might fit a little bit tight on us um don't do what i did and try to make it fit <laughs> because then you're going to bust out the seams literally. I love how the bob isn't like just shrinky cause some bobs are really shrinky and I hate that. This one's thick. I think I would like this better if it was glued down so this way I could kind of like manipulate it more in this area. The hair is really bright so if you are looking for a wig that you can dye, I would suggest this. Yeah, if I had to rate this from one to 10, I would give this a seven. Um, to me, it's just okay. There are some things that I would change about this. Um, so I'm hoping me put it in a middle part maybe would change my answer to that. The other reason is it is a little bit small. It is snug. I tore my wig a little bit, so I had to re-sew it back on. So definitely for my big head friendly girls, watch out for that. If you have a smaller head, you won't have to worry about this problem. The texture in the back doesn't really match the front. I'm going to come back in the middle part um, just to show you guys because um, I think me personally, I would like it more in the middle part. See, now I can comfortably give this an 8 out of 10. We got one point up for that middle part. The middle part saved it for me. I'm not too fond of the side part. Middle part definitely would go for this. This right here is great. Um, I did spray some adhesive down um, in the front. Way more realistic than it just sitting down on your head. 
but I did want to show you guys that you could do this in the middle part and you could do this on each side. Whatever you would like to do. I do like this wig. I would just leave it in the middle part. So that is all I have for you guys. If you're looking to purchase this wig or anything else that Love Me Hair has to offer, make sure you check out the description box down below. Also check out my Amazon storefront. Like, comment, subscribe, follow me on all my social medias. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.